recognizing one of our NOAA employees, um, Christina Hammock. As most of you know, Christina came uh, to American Samoa last year. Uh, was supposed to be here for a few months, but she liked it so much, she stayed on. Okay, well first of all, welcome to the Ocean Center and thank you so very much for coming. It is my pleasure to be here. The main theme of my talk today is do your thing. And what I mean by that is that you should always live by um, a mantra that's guided me, which is live the life that you imagine. If you live the life that you see for yourself in your mind's eye, you will find not only success, but the most important thing, which is genuine happiness. Um, that is the ultimate. Led me to achieve something that I never thought I would be able to, that I've dreamt of since I was a little girl, which is being an astronaut. Four main groups of pictures that tell my path or my story. Um, the first one, when I was just getting started out of college, um, I put this slide in, one, because I'm working with something called cryogenics in this picture. And um, the other reason I put this in is because I think I'm wearing slippers in my lab there, so obviously I was meant for American Samoa one day. <laughs> because of the predominant trade winds here, the easterlies, the air that blows in is straight from the pristine ocean. And that is exactly why NOAA chose this site. We like to study the cleanest air that we can get. And so this um, observatory was opened in the 70s to do just that. And we study, and in particular, we're interested in what they call greenhouse gases. How many people here, show of hands, have heard of global warming or global climate change? The other reason is sea level rise. Um, sea level rise is occurring and is, will continue to occur because of global climate change. So we are bringing in the data that scientists use to predict the effects of global warming. And to, but what I would like to tell you about is my journey to get there and especially how Samoa played such a huge role in that. So this is me with uh, nine other candidates during my second of two on-site interviews in Houston. I actually, the crew, we, we got to meet some of the other candidates. They collected all of my exhales and did the gas analysis to make sure that I was very healthy and in shape. So how did I prepare for this, being here in Samoa? Look. Luckily, you all have something that I love to do, which is outrigger canoe paddling. So several times a week, I would hop in a, in a canoe after work and go paddle. Uh, this is great exercise. On this slide, people have asked me a lot over the last couple weeks if I have any advice. And as I said in the beginning of the talk, my main advice that I would say is to always live the life that you imagine for yourself. But in addition, another piece of advice that I want to impart is that you should always make a point of encouraging and supporting those people around you. The one thing that you can do um, to sort of bring about your own success is to find happiness in the success of others and to always let the people around you know how much you appreciate them and how much you believe in them. And so I'd like to do that for the people that have supported me here in Samoa today. And I'd like to encourage everyone here to do that every day.